to you and welcome to CBS This Morning. It is Thursday, November 12, 2020. I'm Gail King with Anthony Mason and Tony DeCopo. The coronavirus is skyrocketing in America. We've broken the new case record again and had the most daily deaths since May. Plus, the Trump administration faces new questions over its response. Sources say the president hasn't been to a task force meeting in months. President-elect Biden makes his first top-level appointment. What we're learning about his new chief of staff, who once served as the country's Ebola czar. Was there a failure to treat veterans? In part two of our CBS News investigation, a whistleblower claims a VA medical center failed to properly evaluate traumatic brain injury for years. We confronted one of the doctors in charge of their care. And a Masters like no other. How the tournament will look different this year while keeping tradition alive. The golfers, this is for you. But first, here's today's eye opener. It's your world. I feel Welcome like he might CBS. do those songs on his own at home. Yeah. Those are fun. <laughs> Nicely done. Welcome to CBS. Nicely done, Chris Stable. You just talked to him, Anthony, the Chris Yeah, Stable that's thing. right. Yeah. That's a, that was really... Did he mention he was going to do that? No. Very well done. I don't well think we quite at that stage yet. Yeah, very well done. A number of new infections. Just yesterday, more than 144,000, nearly 1,900 people died. Now that is the most in a single day since May. Long lines have formed across the country as people are hoping to get tested, and cases are on the rise in at least 47 states. No states currently meet the CDC guidelines for reopening, but many remain at least partially open as officials struggle to balance economic.